Hello, thought I'd do a quick tutorial on uh, mouse dragging objects in the 3D space. Uh, it's quite simple. I am going to make a cube. And <coughs> I'm also going to actually, I'm going to. So if you look at a cube, go to the transform, its anchor point is in the middle of the cube. For this, we're not going to want that because we're actually going to be using that anchor point. So I'm going to put the cube into an empty and move it up 0.5. So now I'm going to use this one's anchor point. There's a few different ways you can do this, but uh, the other thing I'll do is I'm going to probably raise some terrain just a little bit just to screw this stuff up so you can see it's not going to matter how messed up your terrain is, or whatever the case may be. Okay, um, I am going to put this cube on a on a different layer. It, it doesn't matter what layer; just <coughs> you have to just choose. Like, make a layer called pickable layers or something. I'm going to choose one called blocker, and you could put logic on these individually that works just fine in the case of this I am going to make logic just sitting floating on its own okay so there's a few things we're gonna need we need a get mouse button down right <coughs> But we also want mouse pick. Yep. Yeah. So we want this one. No, oh, no, not mouse pick event. We just want mouse pick. Not not mouse pick event. So we'll say put this on every frame. Um. Actually, we probably don't even need that there. Let's just leave that empty. So we have send event, we're going to go pick. So we're going to go here. Now once we're here, we're going to drag our mouse pick over here. We'll, we'll do our mouse pick. Store, did, store the object. So we're going to get the game object. And this is on a mask because we don't want to grab everything. We're going to use that same mask. Okay. Um, and then the other thing we want to do is we are going to get root. We don't actually want to use that object because we want to use its anchor. Um, and I can show you the difference of that after. Um, so the root, the root object of the object we picked. Okay. Now we have grabbed this object. And we need to actually, you know what? Let's let's do put this over here. This will actually make it easier. So every frame, same idea. Store the game object. Get mouse button down. So now we're over here, and we're going to set layer. Which is why we move that pick over of the, not of the root, but of the game object. We're going to put them on just some other random layer. Doesn't matter really what it is. The idea is we don't want to be able to hit it when we are holding it in the mouse or else it just moves towards the camera. We don't want that. Right, so we're, we're going to get it. Now we want mouse pick over here, but this one's going to be a little different because we're going to put another layer mask, but this one's going to be default. And it's going to be default because that's what my terrain is. 
default. So it's only going to see the train. It's not going to see this block. We're not going to store the object, but we are going to store the position we're hitting. Okay, and it's every frame. Next, we're going to set position of the root to that position world every frame. Get mouse button up because we need a way to let go of the object. But we're not going to go straight back here. Um, we're going to add another little thing here. And all it is, we're going to change game objects layer back to that same layer it originally was. And then the other thing. is we want to set well we're going to set both those to a new variable new game object called null and we're not going to fill this it's just going to be empty and then that way when we're back over here if we've already picked once uh, and we've let go we've we've cleared those variables out okay so if I hit play on that, see I can now just drag this thing around Woo. and he follows the train. I can let go. I can click all I want. He doesn't follow. If I click him again, I drag him. Um, <coughs> while I'm still in play mode here, I'm going to duplicate that block. So I can move this block here, that block here. <coughs> well, it works, works pretty easy, works pretty good. One thing you do need to make sure you have is this event system, this Unity event system. This is a communication between UI stuff such as mouse picking. Uh, it, it captures the events. Um, of course, you'll, you'll probably have this. And then the other thing we need is on, on, on the main camera, the camera we're looking through, I have a physics raycaster. Now there's two of those. It's a graphics raycaster and a physics raycaster. In this situation, we want a physics raycaster. And then all of this will work. <coughs> all right. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time.